So there's many different paths towards spiritual liberty, religious liberty. And I think, you know, in, in history, the only time problems occurred in history, and this is real history, essentially one group comes there, they plant their flag, and they say, essentially they told, you know, the exist. It, it, this is like anthropology. When one group goes there, they get their boots on the ground and tell people, uh, your divinities are false divinities. Well, your gods and goddesses are false um, divinities. Your, your ways are false. And this happened, you know, and stuff like this happened. Not just, you know, not just the religious beliefs, but also a spiritual practice. For example, um, in history, you had folks telling saying to other folks, stop doing the hula. Where they said, stop venerating the, you know, the ancestor veneration and stuff like that, which became a huge rights controversy. So now modernly, all, you know, conflicts can be avoided through mutual respect and dialogue and recognizing the validity of uh, different faith traditions and so now in the in the again i as i mentioned the vedic civilization there's been many traditions existing side by side it's a very ancient civilization in a very ancient world and you look at the um you look at the broad path there's many paths to me there's many paths to spiritual liberation there's many different interpretations and they're not really mutually exclusive for example in the in in our e open ecosystem we recognize the validity of every person's real faith and tradition to achieve liberation. So we recognize the validity of every belief. So, you know, I think there's no contradiction in the belief in the, in the divinity, uh, in the Lordship and divinity of Jesus Christ as, you know, basically the, the Son of God, Son of Man, divinity of the Lord Jesus. That's not a conflict at all. I think that's a, I think that's a wonderful path to achieve spiritual liberation. But and we were, and I also recognize the the path of you know the you know achieving enlightenment through the the uh, the 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 eightfold the eightfold path the uh, the this um, the the beautiful traditions of Buddhism as well. But so the 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 only problem that the world has seen is where one group tells the other group. So as long as there's no groups, you know, basically planting their banner and basically telling an existing society your your gods are false gods your your religion is wrong then there's mutual respect there's mutual understanding so and now again the, the Vedic tradition is it's really interesting is because you're you're free to believe as you see fit oneness you were the many the many and the one there's a there's a religious harmony and I like to reflect on the parallels so there's some Concepts of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints that I find to be deeply, uh, you know, intriguing and compelling, even from a Shinto different faith traditions. Um, so I think civilizations do come to similar scientific discoveries concurrently. Uh, maybe not concurrently, different period of time. For example, eighth century, twelfth uh, century. But you look everything from weaponology, the design of the sword. There's a you look at the ancient uh, Roman swords, the, the gladius, and you look at some of the swords that would that was forged. Everyone knows the katana, but the but the swords that were forged, some of the the swords of such high quality, two thousand years later, two thousand years later, the sword is unearthed from the scabbard, pulled from the scabbard in a pristine condition, ready and cleared for action, as if it was just eight hours. Right, but you can only tell the age from the aging of the scabbard. But so different spiritual paths, enlightenment, moksha. Um, I'm not again. I, I'm not a Buddhist, but I recognize the validity of Buddhism. The rec uh, you know the the validity of all faith traditions. People follow different faith traditions, and I think there's a there's a common great spiritual truth. And so everything from the Bhagavad Gita, the Holy Bible. And, and, you know, and my thanks to the religious sister who gave to me the Book of Mormon of the, from the Church of Jesus Christ. And, and uh, so all these different holy traditions are definitely, you know, profound respect. 